uh, we started something really exciting. So I'm very, very glad that you're here to witness this ship go out of its little harbor. Um, and please stick around after the show, grab a beer, hang out, and I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you.
going to sleep next to you. And do your shopping and carry your bags and tell you how much I love being with you, but they keep making me do stupid things. And I want to play hide and seek and give you my clothes and tell you I like your shoes. And sit on the steps while you take a bath. And kiss your neck. And massage your feet. And hold your hand. And go for a meal. And not mind when you eat my food. And meet you at Rudy's and talk about the day. And tie up your legs. And carry your boxes. And laugh at your paranoia and give you tapes you don't listen to, and watch great films, and watch terrible films, and complain about the radio, and take pictures of you when you're sleeping, and get up to fetch you coffee and bagels in Danish, and go to Florence and drink coffee at midnight, and have you steal my cigarettes and never be able to find a match, and tell you about the TV program I saw from the night before, and take you to the eye hospital and not laugh at your jokes, and want you in the morning to let you sleep for a while. I want. And kiss your back, and stroke your skin, and tell you how much I love your hair, your eyes, your lips, your neck, your breasts, your ass, your. I want. And sit on the steps smoking till your neighbor comes home, and sit on the steps smoking till you come home. And worry when you're late. Be amazed when you're early and get scared when you're angry. And your eyes go red, and your other eyes blue, and your hair goes black, and your face oriental. And tell you you're gorgeous. And hug you when you're anxious, and hold you when you hurt. And want you when I smell you, and fret you when I touch you, and whimper when I'm next to you, and whimper when I'm not. Touch. I want you. And smother you in the night, and dribble on your breast. And not understand why you think I'm rejecting you and I'm not rejecting you and wonder how you could think I could ever reject you and wonder who you are but accept you anyway. And tell you about the tree angel enchanted forest boy across the ocean because he loved you and write poems for you and have a feeling so deep I can't find words for it. I and I wonder why you don't believe me. And I want to buy you a kitten I get jealous of because it would get more attention than me and get rid of the roaches. And want to keep you in bed when you have to go and cry like a baby when you finally do. And by your presence, you don't want to take them away again and ask you to marry me, and you say no again, but keep on asking me because you think I don't need it. I do always have them the first time I asked you. And wanted the city can be contempt without you, and want you want to think I'm losing myself, but no, I'm safe with you. And I ask you to marry me, and you say no again, but keep on asking me because you think I don't need it. I just always have them. I tell you the worst of me and try to give you the best of me because now you don't deserve any less. Yeah, I answer your questions when I'd rather not and tell you the truth, but I really don't want to. I'm trying to be honest because I know you prefer it. And then it's all over, but hang on, it's just 10 more minutes before you throw me out of your life and forget all about me. And try to get closer to you because it's beautiful learning to know you're well worth the effort. And speak German to you badly and you're too worse. You say no, yes! I do it three in the morning. Somehow, 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 it's special that this guy is overwhelming all the time. Mine and Richard's heart expanding ongoing. This has to stop! 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 I want to see you next time. It has to stop! 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 I go for a meal and not mind when you eat my food. I meet you with rooms and talk about the day. Hello? Thank you. <laughs> heaven, I'm in heaven, and my heart beats so that I 
can hardly speak And I seem to find the happiness I seek When we're out together Dancing cheek to cheek I keep telling people I'm pregnant! They say, how did you do it? What are you taking? I say, I drank a bottle of port, smoked some fags, and fucked a stranger. All lies. He needs to have a secret, but he can't help telling. Does he think we don't know? Believe me, we know. A voice in the desert. He who comes after, there is something in the way. Still here. Three summers ago, I was bereaved. No one died, but I lost my mother. She had him back. I believe an anniversary is that a mood can be repeated, even if the event that caused it is trivial or forgotten. In this case, it's neither. I will grow older. I will. It will something. I smoke till I'm sick. I feel nothing. Nothing. I feel nothing. Is it possible? <sighs> Something. I'm not a rapist. David? I'm a pedophile. Do you remember me? Yeah. He looks like a German. He talks like a Spaniard. He smokes like a Serb. You've forgotten. All things all men. Uh, yes? I don't think. I, I, I look at it. It's all over the city. No, we really don't. Yes? Yes! You do. Please stop this. And now I have found you. So Nature desires a future. No! I want a child! I can help you. And she left. <laughs> time is passing and I don't have time. None of this would have happened. No. None of it. In a lane by on the motorway going out of the city, or any inn, depending on which way you look, a small dark girl sits in the passenger seat of a parked car. Her elderly grandfather in the driver's seat undoes his trousers in it. Pops out, big and purple. I feel nothing. <laughs> nothing, I feel nothing. And when she cries, her father in the back seat says, I'm sorry, she's not normally like this. Haven't we been here before? <laughs> and though she cannot remember, sh 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 she cannot forget. And has been hurtling away from that moment ever since. Ah, will it come around and seduce me? I need to be seduced by an older woman. I'm not an older woman. You're older than me. Not older per se. You've fallen in love with someone who doesn't exist! Tragedy! Really? Oh, yes. What do you do? What do you want? To die. To sleep. No more. And the bus driver loses it, stops his bus in the middle of the road, climbs out of his cab, strips off his clothes, and walks down the street. His cute little ass shining in the sun. I drink till I'm sick. I see him everywhere I go. I know the plates. I know the car. Does he think? I don't know. Never as powerful as when you know you're powerless. I shake when I don't have it. Bleeding. A brain melts when I do. I ran through the poppy field at the back of my grandfather's farm. When I burst in through the kitchen door, I saw him sitting with my grandmother on his lap. He kissed her on the lips and caressed her breast. They looked around and saw me staring at my confusion. When I related this to my mother more than ten years later, she stared at me oddly and said, that didn't happen to you. That happened to me. My father died before you were born. When that happened, I was pregnant with you, but I didn't know it until the day of his funeral. We passed these messages. Someone somewhere is crying for me, crying for my death. My finger inside her, my tongue in her mouth. I wish to live with myself. No witnesses. And if this makes no sense, then you understand perfectly. Sometimes the shape of my head alarms me. When I catch sight of it reflected in a darkened train window, the landscape passing through the image of my head, not that there's anything particularly unusual or alarming about the shape of my head, but it does. It does alarm me. Why do you do this? I find it alarming. There's so little time. I hate the smell of my own family. Smell better when you're dead than you do now. I hate the smell of my own family. You'll smell better when you're dead than you do now. I hate the smell of my own family. It'll smell better when you're dead than you do now. I hate the smell of my own family. It'll smell better when you're dead than you do now. My entire being was filled with incredible pain at that moment. Thoughts of God began to occupy me again. And I grew more and more bitter towards God for his constant persecutions. I thought it utterly reprehensible of him to block my way whenever I tried for a job and to ruin my chances when it was only my daily bread that I was asking for. 
I had noticed very clearly that whenever I'd gone hungry a little too long, it seemed as though my brains ran quietly out of my head and left me feeling empty. I could no longer feel my weight on my shoulders. My head became light and floating, and I sensed that my eyes were remaining open far too long whenever I looked at anything. I sat on the bench and thought about all this. If he was trying to make me better by drawing me nearer to himself and pushing me hard, he was going about it the wrong way, I could assure him of that. I stared up at this guy, almost in tears for my defiance. I told him that once and for all, silently inside myself. Fragments of childhood teachings ran through my mind. I heard the music of the Bible in my ears, and I talked softly to myself, tilting my head sarcastically to the side. Why should I be troubled for what I should eat? I'm asking. Or for what I should drink? Or for what I should put on this earthly bag of worms, which is called my earthly body, and not the heavenly father cared for me as for other children who had no place to lay their heads? Had not his hand, in his graciousness, pointed at his insignificant servant? God had poked his finger down into my brains, and gently, almost without thinking, brought a little confusion among those threads. And behold, there were filaments and other fine root-like threads on his finger, which were the threads of my nerves. And there remained an open hole from behind the path of his finger, which was the finger of God, and a wound in my brain from behind the path of his finger. And after he had touched me with the finger of his hand, <laughs> he let me be and touched me no more, and he let no evil come upon me. He let me depart in peace, and he let me depart with the open hole. And no evil shall come upon me from God who's the Lord through all eternity. female breasts, 
can see at the violet hour the evening hour that strives homeward and brings the sailor home from sea. The typist home at tea time clears her breakfast, lights her stove, and lays out food in tin. wonderful to live a spirit and testify for all eternity to only what is spiritual in people's mind. But sometimes I get fed up with this spiritual existence. I don't want to always hover above. I'd rather feel a weight within casting out this boundless freedom and tying me to the earth. At every step, every gust of wind, I'd like to be able to say, now, now. And now, no more, forever, for eternity. To take the empty seat at the card game and be greeted by the others, even if just for the night. Every time we've gotten involved, it's been a pretense. Throwing a hip out, wrestling with one of their pretense, catching a fish pretense, sitting at tables, drinking and eating all pretense. I don't have to father a child or plant a tree. But it would be nice to come home after a long day and feed the cat like a jolly farm boy. Or to have fever. Get your fingers black from the newspaper. The curve of the neck and ear. <sighs> to lie. Who wants to? To feel your bones as you walk along. To be able to say, ah, and Oh, and ouch, instead of yes and amen. To get enthused about evil for once, draw all the demons out of passerby and drive them off once and for all, to be a savage. Or to feel what it's like to take off your shoes under the table and wiggle with your toes barefoot like this. <laughs> Keep to yourself. Let things happen. To always remain serious. We can only be savages to the extent that we remain absolutely serious. Do no more than look, gather, testify, verify, preserve. Remain spirit. Keep the distance. Keep the word. 
I stopped and let her go on ahead. Actually, I couldn't have gone farther anyway. The entire series of events seemed to me so confusing. I was in an excitable mood, angry with myself for the business with the pencil, and extremely stimulated by the food just eaten on an empty stomach. Suddenly, my mind shut off in a lunatic direction. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was possessed by a strange desire to follow this woman, to frighten her and hurt her in some way or another. I caught up with her and walked past, then abruptly turned around and stared at her to study her. Honest. On the spot, a name came to me, which I'd never heard before. A name with a nervous, lilting sound, Ilayali. She got closer. And I pulled myself up straight and stared at her to study her. And I said, in an impressive voice, Miss, you're losing your book. My malice increased and I followed the two. I, I, Consciousness ran away with me and sent me lunatic inspirations, which I obeyed one after another. I was conscious all the time that I was following mad whims, but was unable to do anything about it. I made the most stupid faces behind the women's backs, and I coughed furiously several times as I went by them. Walking on in this way, very slowly, always a few steps ahead, I could feel her eyes on my back. And I bowed my head involuntarily in shame for persecuting her. Gradually, I became aware of a most marvelous sensation that I was somewhere far, far away. In another place entirely. It wasn't I who was walking there on the sidewalk and bowing my head. They got past Pasha's bookstore, and I stepped out once more and said, Miss, you're losing your book. If love would come. It is just not me. Does it ever occur to you you're looking in the wrong place? No. Never. No. Hey, um, it's very nice. Will you make me one? It's made of eggshells and concrete. Uh, will you make me one? Concrete paint and eggshells. I didn't ask what it was made of. I asked if you would make me one. Every time I have an egg, I stick the shell on there and spray it. She sees through all. Will you make me one? Other lives! A woman, a mother, beats her child savagely for running in front of a car. You stop thinking of yourself as I you think of we. Let's just go to bed. No! No, 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 no! A wish under pressure. Pride, Do not remove your gloves until you leave the last town. 
Are you a lesbian? Oh, please. I thought that might be why you don't have children. Why? I never met a man I trusted. Why what? You trust me? This is not about you. Why what? I'm not interested in you. I'm why not interested in the first fucking thing about you. <laughs> when he was 18 and I got this. Yes, I got this. Uh, genetically possible, but there it is. Yes, we pass these messages faster than we think in a ways we don't think possible. If I was, if I, if I was, hurry up, please, let's just do this. Oh, and don't you think that a child conceived by a rape would suffer? But after this, you think I'm going to rape you? Yes. No. Uh, yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. Is that possible? I see no good in anyone anymore. Okay. 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 I was okay. Um, two people, right? Okay. One of these days. Soon. Very soon. Now. But looks like everything. Yeah, it's just not me. What's anything got to do with anything? Nothing. Exactly. That's the worst of it. Nothing. Is this what it is? Is this it? How much longer? How many more times? How much more? Correct or not? I'm not what he's doing for. I'm sorry. Go away now. Go away. I'm sorry. Go away. I'm sorry. 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 What for? Have you ever raped anyone? I'm sorry. I'm following you. No. Why not? What's anything got to do with anything? Nothing. Exactly. That's the worst of it. Nothing. Is this what it is? Is this it? How much longer? How many more times? How much more? Correct or not? I'm not what he's doing for. I'm sorry. Go away now. Go away. I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. What for? Have you ever raped anyone? I'm sorry, I'm following you. No. Why not? There are more mistakes than being fat and 50. Why not? Being fat and 30. I don't like a woman about who people say who was that woman. The question is, where do you live? Absence between the buildings. Yeah. Right? Don't die! Yeah, this city! Fucking love it! Wouldn't live nowhere else, couldn't? Where do you find it? Where do you start? A Japanese man in love with his virtual reality girlfriend. Oh, you look reasonably happy for someone who's not. Where do I stop? So it's in turmoil. Here. I'm looking for a place and time for your things outside. Wrong. Inside? Here. Be the one. If she left, I don't want to grow old and cold and be too poor to dye my hair. You get mixed messages because I have mixed feelings. I don't want to be living in a bed sit at 16. Oh. Too scared to turn the heater on because I can't pay the bill. What drives me to you is guilt. I don't want to die alone oh. and not be found until my bones are clean and the rent is overdue. I don't want to stay. No, I don't want to stay. I No. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Let me go. I don't want to have to buy you Christmas presents anymore. Touched by the sun's last rays, 
under the bed are piled at night her bed. Stockings, slippers, camisoles, and stays. I, Tiresias, old men with wrinkled ducks, perceived the scene and foretold the rest. I, too, awaited the expected guest. He, the young man carbuncular, arrives. A small house agent sir, with one bold stare. One of the lowest of assurance sits as a silk hat on a bread millionaire. The time is now propitious as he guesses the meal is ended. She is bored and tired, endeavors to engage her in caresses which still are unreproved if undesired. Flushed and decided, he assaults at once. Exploring heads encounter no defense. Venice requires no response. It makes a welcome indifference. Bestows one final patronizing kiss and gropes his way, finding the stairs. Unlit. She turns a moment and looks on the glass, hardly aware of her departed lover. Her brain allows one half on thought to pass. Well, now that's done, and I'm glad it's over. When a lovely woman stoops to folly and paces about her room again, alone, she smooths her hair with automatic hand and puts a record on the gramophone. to live. One look is enough. The circus. I'll miss it. It's funny, I don't feel a thing. It's all over, but I don't feel a thing as if pain had no past. 
all the people I've met who live on in my head. It always stops just when it's starting. It's too good to be true. Out in the big city at last to find out who I am, who I've become. Most of the times I'm too aware to be sad. I've waited an eternity for someone to say a loving word to me, then I went abroad. Someone who'd say, I love you so much today, that would be so wonderful. I look up and the world emerges before my eyes and fills my heart. As a child, I wanted to live on an island, a woman alone, gloriously alone. Yes, that's it, empty, incompatible, emptiness. Fear, 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 like a little animal lost in the woods. Who are you? I don't know anymore, but I do know I'll never become a trapeze artist. One of those unexpected decisions you hold on to. Don't cry. No way. Crying is out of the question. Those things happen. It's just the way it is. Things don't always turn out to be the way you'd like them. So empty. Don't think about anything, just be. I'm a foreigner here, and yet, it's all so familiar. I wait for my photo at a photo booth and out comes someone else's face. That could be the beginning of a story. Faces. <laughs> I'd like to see faces. Maybe I'll find a way for the same job. When the child was a child, it played with enthusiasm. Now it could only muster it up when it's about work. History had not yet begun. We let mornings and evenings go by and just waited. It took a long time for the river to find its bed and the stagnant water to flow. The valley of the primeval river. I still remember how one day the glacier cap and the iceberg drifted to the north. Yeah, a tree floated by, still green, with an empty bird's nest. For Innumerable years only fish had lived. Then came the moment when the swarm of bees drowned. <sighs> Sometime later, two stags fought on the bank there. Then came the cloud of flies and the antlers floating like branches down the river. The only thing that grew was grass over the carcasses of wild cats, wild boar, and buffalo. Remember how one morning, out of the savannah, his forehead smeared with grass, the biped appeared, <laughs> our long-awaited likeness. Uh, his first word was, was a shout. Was it, was it ah, <laughs> or, or merely a groan? Huh? Uh, 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 mm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were at last 
able to laugh for the first time. <laughs> and from this man's shouts and that of his followers, we learn to speak. <laughs> Long story, sun, lightning, thunder in the sky and on earth, the campfires, the leaping about, the dancing in a circle, the cave drawing and writing. And one of them suddenly broke out of the circle and ran straight ahead. As long as he ran straight ahead, perhaps swerving now and then, from sheer joy he seemed free, and again we could laugh with him. But suddenly he started running zigzag, and stones began to fly. With his flight began another story, the story of water. But the story of the grass and the sun, the leaping and shouting, that's still going on as well. Remember, remember how a highway was built here one day? Later it witnessed Napoleon's retreat. Still later it was paved over. Today it's Covered with grass, sunk like a Roman road, tank tracks included. But we weren't here to see that. And it has always been to few of us. You still want to... Yes! Invent a story for myself. I want to transform what my timeless downward look has taught me to bear. A harsh sight, a brusque shout, a sour smell. I've been outside long enough, absent long enough. I've stood outside the world long enough. Yeah, I want to enter into the history of the world. Or even just hold an apple in my hand. Yes, or just hold an apple in my hand. Enough of the world, behind the world.
dragging myself in bruises and cuts and blood and swelling, and in the mirror in deep red. Ali! Death is my lover and he wants to move in. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean you're saying? Be a woman? Huh? Be a woman? Fuck you! There's something very unflattering about being desired when the other person is so drunk they can't see. Fuck you. I tried to explain that I didn't want to sleep with someone who wouldn't appreciate how difficult it was for me the following morning. But he passed out by the time I finished my sentence. Q-E-D. Still sleeping with daddy. The games we play. The lies we tell. You are heirs and head of God. Go on. I can only make love to me the way I want to be. I could be your mother. Your mother. Soon, very soon. Now. I, I faked orgasms before, but this is the first time I faked not having an orgasm. Under the door seeps yeah. a black pool of blood. Why? What? Why what? What? When he's generous, kind, thoughtful, and happy, I know he's having an affair. He thinks we're stupid. He thinks we don't know. A third person in my bed whose face eludes me. Just, just the way I am. Nothing to be done. Give, sympathize, control. I'm so tired of secrets. It's just not me. She's currently having a nervous breakdown where she wishes she's been born black, male, and more attractive. I give myself. Or just more attractive. I give my heart. Or just different. But that's not really giving. Or just someone fucking else. Fragile and choking. <sighs> she seems to continue with day to day farce of getting through the next few hours in an attempt to ward off the fact that she doesn't know how to get through the next 40 years. I love you still. Against my will. She's talking about herself in the third person because. The idea of being who she is, of, of acknowledging that she is herself, is more than her pride can take. Hold on, this is another one here. <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> eyes and waiting for a knock upon the door. Unreal City. Under the brown fog of a winter noon. At the Violet Tower when the eyes and back turn upward from the desk, when the human engine waits like a taxi throbbing and waiting. Tell me, men, women, and children that will look for me, me, their storyteller, their bard, the choir master, because they need me more than anything else. We have embarked.
One wish. Cool summer and a mild winter. Long deep sleep with you in my arms. No fights, no floods. Darkly surrounds a collapsing story. No one, nothing, no shit. Assimilated, but not obliterated. Peace. A sickly glare with no single sort. A pale gold sea under a pale pink sky. A distant bell crosses the sea. Clouds converge as I see I want to glow. Waves sob like a pulse. Here I am, once again. Here I am. Here I am. In the darkness, once again. On the edge of nothing. Here I am. Hold my hand. Glory be to the Father. The truth is behind you. Give it all up for you. Into the light. As it was in the beginning. Beyond the darkness. And ever shall be. Right. At the end of the day, it comes back to this. But, hey, tell but losing light? It comes back to me. But losing light? It comes back to this. Fat and shiny and dead, 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 three and I can't save you. And clean. Other lives. Oh, fucker can. Rolled into a ball. Deliver my soul from the sword. I wake as I dream. Alone.
must finally become serious. Look at me. Or don't. Give me your head. Or don't. Don't give me your head and don't look at me. <laughs> child was conceived only in mortal shared image. I learned to be amazed last night. I know now what no angel knows. I stepped up from the lamppost and stared up at the front of the house. Then something odd happened. A pie. Some curtains fluttered. An instant later, a window opened, a head appeared, and two restless eyes rested on mine. Ilayali said half aloud to myself, and I felt myself turning red. Why didn't she call for help? Why didn't she push one of the flower pots over on my head? or send someone down to chase me away. We stared at each other without moving. This lasted a minute. Thoughts shot from the window to the street and not a word was said. Then she turned away, a delicate shock went through my system. I felt something crack deep inside me this leisurely turning of the shoulder, the expression of her back as she turned. Was a sign to me. My blood recognized this delicate greeting, and at that moment I was filled with happiness. I want to sleep next to you and do your shopping and carry your groceries and tell you how much I love being with you. But they keep making me do stupid things. And I want to play hide and seek and give you my clothes and tell you I like your shoes and sit on the steps while you take a bath and kiss your neck, and massage your feet, and hold your hand, and go for a meal and not mind when you eat my food, and meet you at Rudy's, and talk about the day, and type up your letters, and carry your boxes, and laugh at your paranoia, and give you tapes you don't listen to, 
and watch great films and watch terrible films and complain about the radio and take pictures of you when you're sleeping and get up to fetch your bagels and Danish and coffee and go to Florence and drink coffee at midnight and have you steal my cigarettes and never be able to find a match and take you to the eye hospital and not laugh at your jokes and want you in the morning to let you sleep for a while.